Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we're going to be going off of what we did last time and we are actually going to look at changing the atmospheric color on a planet. So, uh, for an example of what that would actually mean, let's just get two of the planets we already have and show the difference. So if we find, I'm pretty sure we have a purple atmosphere on one of these planets that is very visible. Nope, that's blue. So here's a blue atmosphere, and let's see if we can find one that's purple. Because I know we did have one at one point. Huh, okay, maybe I can't find one. That's okay though. Well, we can just show Venus. Venus has a green atmosphere, if you can't tell. Oh, no, it's kind of ripped apart, but I, me I meant to just show that different atmosphere colors and now uh what is a spock vopper has has a ring congratulations so we're going to create a new simulation and we're going to actually modify spook vooper because that's kind of the uh major planet we mess with in this so eh. spook vooper does not have lights because I made it before the update which added lights and I'm having trouble giving it lights because of that. I'll figure it out at some point. I may just remake Spook Vooper with the same height map at some point. So here's Spook Vooper. All set. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually close Universe, well I guess we can keep it open, but we're going to open a file manager. This is going to seem very um similar to what we did last time but if you don't understand how rgb works and you don't do graphic design or programming then you may not understand actually how to do this um so we're going to go into universe sandbox 2 bodies we're going to find the original which is just going to be spook vooper in here spook spook vooper so we're actually going to copy this we're going to make two versions this one's going to be Spook Vooper Red Atmos and the other one will be Spook Vooper and why not um so it starts out blue red let's go purple then I can make a cool thumbnail with it slowly turning to red okay so now that we have these two set up, we're going to open them with 7-zip, or whatever archiving platform you want. We're going to delete this, body.json, and we're going to do the same in the other one. Now, to save time, we are actually going to keep these open. I'm just going to throw these on my second screen to the left. And we're going to also go out. Okay, we actually will need to close the Universe Sandbox 2 here so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Someone asked me if I was using a Mac last video. No, this is this is an awesome program called Rocket Doc. I know it looks like a Mac. Someone asked me how I got all this. This is through a program called Rain Meter. And this is actually an equalizer. If I play something like with sound, that will start moving around. But only through my headphones. It doesn't work when I'm recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Spook Vooper. We're going to open this one. So this is our original. We're going to delete my old stuff here. We're going to copy body here. And we're going to edit it. I seriously suggest using Note Plus, uh, Notepad++ for this. It's a much easier way to do it. And if we go down, we will see everything about the planet. So as you can see, uh, yeah, my cities are not working on this. But what we're going to look for is colors. And here we go. Atmosphere color. So this is RGB. So this is red, green, blue, alpha. And alpha is just how much you can see it. So... The higher, the more visible it is, the lower, the more translucent or clear it is. So we're going to go to a color picker, RGBA. Actually, just RGB. The A doesn't matter here. And we're going to find red. This will just be 
Actually, we'll do purple first. So let's find this. So it appears that this is using uh, up to value of 1, not up to value of 255 like normal. But that is fine. All we have to do is get a little bit of a calculator. <laughs> And if we want to copy this perfectly, this is going to be 204 divided by 255, 0 0.800.8. So let's do that. Atmosphere color 0 0.8, 0, 0.0, 0 0.8. And that's purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that. I just do control S to save because that's the best way to do it. We're going to pull over our purple. We're going to drag that in. And there we go. And now we're going to change this again to red. Now red is pretty easy. We just have to do R. So we'll just switch this to 0, 0.0. So we have a pretty bright red not completely bright red but that may look a little bit funny and now we're just going to drag that into our red atmosphere spook pooper file close them both close everything thank you w3 uh, for the great rgb picker and now we're going to open universe sandbox 2 and pray that this works properly Now, I did have a comment in the last video from the same guy who told me how to do the file editing who said you don't actually need to restart the game. So if you're doing this on your own and you're using Universe Sandbox 2 in windowed mode, you can probably do it a lot faster. So the pictures are going to look the same. Oh, look at that. Oh, but it does not actually look the same. Oh, look at that. That is great. So it's pretty clear the difference here. And there we have it. Different atmosphere colors. That looks awesome. So as you can see, you can actually pretty much make this look however you want if you have an RGB picker. Oh, this is a perfect thumbnail shot right here too. Jeez, uh, quickly turn off trails labels and press tab and print screen okay look at that we've done it guys and let's let them all crash into each other because this is universe sandbox 2 and explosions are great oh they're all trying to orbit each other probably should have edited that but that's fine they will crash into each other oh that one's just being ripped apart in both directions and now they're all frozen and now they're just ripping each other apart well then, who survived? Oh, the original Spook Pooper, of course, because that's a- Oh wait, never mind. I never edited the actual names of the planets, so I, I think that uh, they're all just gonna be Spook Pooper when I put them in. Let's test that real quickly. Yeah, they're still named the same. But this actually was the blue one, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So yeah. That's how you change the colors on the atmospheres. I hope you guys make some awesome looking planets. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to know how to do anything else, tell me in the comments below. I'm thinking of programming a little uh, application to actually edit this all for you. And have like a color picker and stuff built in. But that'll take some time. But if you're really interested in that, let me know. Um, I may actually try to do it. So yeah, also, before I hop off, I did get a sponsorship from Nodecraft, who have great game servers, so if you're interested, I have a coupon code below for 30% uh, off your first server, uh, code SPOOKVOOPER, thank you Flying Eagle, um, and just if you want to check that out, that's only like $6 for your first server, so yeah, actually buy now, see you all next time.